Hey, it's Melissa Catherine. I'm excited to be with you before you depart on your Memorial Day plans. We've got a lot, lots to cover here, and I'm really, really excited because what I'm about to share with you is going to help you tremendously through this weekend and beyond. So I'm Melissa Catherine. I am a holistic nutritionist, if you're new to me. Um, I also have a background with a fitness competitor and fitness expert, as well as I specialize in emotional eating and freeing women from dieting quote unquote, known as the done with dieting program, helping women to release weight with ease, make peace with food, make peace with their bodies to really thrive in life in a body that they love. And that is what my clients experience. If you want to learn more about me, go to melissacatherine.com. But stay with me here because what I'm about to share with you, like I said, is going to help you tremendously. So I know that there's a lot of different things going on right now. It's like, well, what, what do I do workout-wise? What do I do eating-wise? And especially if you've been dieting for a long time, there's fears around food. Well, you know, all of a sudden you get to a barbecue and it's like, well, I never get to eat that stuff. And there's that voice in your head that's going, but we never get to eat this stuff. Just eat all of it. It's just one day. It's just one meal. And yet you would do anything to have that excess weight off your body, right? But yet you still find yourself piling up your plate, going back for more brownies and chips and other things and regretting it and feeling worse. So what we want to talk about today is one, the mindset that you need to have and two, actionable steps that you can take that are going to help to free you from this guy all weekend long and make you feel better in your body and better about your choices. How does that sound? I think it sounds pretty incredible, which is why I'm here. So first and foremost... Do you ever notice that once you've lost the weight, you're in complete alignment and you're eating healthy and you just naturally are getting to your workouts and you feel good and you're making healthy choices because you have the body. You've lost the weight and you're in the process of losing and you're feeling really good. So you stay in alignment and it's easier to make those choices because you're feeling good. Stay with me here. So the key to getting the weight off and staying in the mentality and in the space of taking care of you right, is by actually being in the mindset of, I've already reached my goal weight. I'm already there. Now, I get that this may sound crazy. I totally get that you're going to sit there and go, well, how do I feel that way when my pants feel too tight and when I don't want to go on the beach this weekend or when I see my sister-in-law and she's lost weight and I'm still, you know, overweight or whatever your stories are. And I call them stories because they're not truths, right? Um, they're your stories. It's your perception. It's not actually based on the reality. So that's a whole other thing that we could get into, but stay with me here. So if you mentally just told yourself, I'm going to act as if I lost all the weight. Right now, if I was at the size that I wanted to be, how would I be going into this party? How would I be talking to people? How would I feel in my body? What would my energy be like, right? What foods would I choose? How would I take care of me? How would I talk to myself? Who would you be if you were already at your goal weight? Because when you're in that alignment, then you eat from a place where you are choosing things that feel good for you. You don't want to overeat. Did you ever notice when you got the 10 pounds on, the whatever, whatever number, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it doesn't even matter. Whatever it is, whatever is keeping you small and not feeling enough, whatever that weight is. Did you ever notice that when you have that weight on, it's sitting in your mind and it actually causes you to overeat? It causes you to miss your workouts. It causes you to talk negatively to yourself. It causes all of these things that actually keep you stuck. So what if we reverse that? <laughs> what if we got you thinking and being and acting and feeling from the place that you're already in the body that you desire? What would you do differently? How would you show up? Be her. That's step one. Step two, all of my clients always ask for a plan. What is my plan? What is my step-by-step, -step, right? All of my clients are perfectionists and controllers, and they need to know. They need to know. And so what <laughs> they now, it's amazing to me. They're all like totally not like that anymore, and it's awesome. Um, but And I get it because I was that way too. But so I say to them, and this is so simple, that it's going to be hard 
to wrap your head around it might be, but just do this for me. Do this exercise this weekend. See, your body is guiding you towards your goal weight all the time. Intuitively, it's guiding you, it's taking you there. So what if, right, you face the resistance? See, what if you started writing down every time you were resisting something? I wanted to hit snooze, I wanted to skip my workout, I wanted to eat another Sunday and I'm, you know, even though my body said, don't stay awake, you know, time to go to bed. Why don't you read or journal? I sat up and watched reruns and I ended up eating more. My body, right? You'll notice that as you're writing down, if you're noticing, I'm looking down, I'm like writing down, right? If you notice that and start having a journal with you, you're going to find that your body's sending you signals all day long. You're just choosing to ignore them. You're letting your mind win over your heart, over your body, because your body's like, I know what you want. I'm trying to tell you. I know this excess weight doesn't feel good, and I know you really want this. You've got to listen to me, right? But when we've been dieting for so long, we disconnect, right? We go, oh, no, I like me. I just don't like my body. Not possible. You've heard me say that before. It's not possible. You're one in the same. This is one body, me. I'm, I'm just, I'm all me, right? I can't just separate this from this. So I invite you to partner with your body this weekend, to ask it to guide you. And for the first time for, for many of you, please tune in and see what it says. It, you don't, it doesn't mean you have to listen because it's going to be hard at first. But to know that you can write it down and actually see, wow, that's so funny. I ended up totally overeating last night but my body told me, go to bed. Or my body said, you actually don't want to order the pasta. You actually just want an appetizer. You're not even that hungry. Or it said, drink more water. You're not hungry right now. Or it said, get up and go for a walk. Don't sit down yet, right? All of those things. Your plan for your success is to face the resistance. Face the resistance. When you step into the resistance, resistance is fear, judgment. When you face the resistance, the fear, the judgment, you know what happens? You start getting exactly what you've always wanted. You get your answers. That is your step-by-step -step plan. Now, I know it sounds, it's almost too simple. And what happens is this guy gets in the way. So I'm going to give you step three. Stay with me here. I know this is a longer video, okay? So um, it's just one more minute here. So step three is there's four questions that are posted below, right? And you have to go to my website to grab. But there's four questions that I want you to really pay attention to. On a scale of one to ten, how hungry am I? Give yourself ten being I'm going to eat my arm, one being not at all. So more times than not, we want to eat when we're not even hungry. So give yourself that and, and tune in. This gives you an opportunity to connect. How hungry am I? Okay, I'm at a four. All right. Well, why am I standing in front of the refrigerator right now? Or why am I thinking about chocolate? Or why am I wanting that bag of chips or that thing of trail mix? Why am I wanting these things? Well, what's going on? The next question is, what's going on in my life right now? No, well, I'm, I'm really stressed out. I've got all these things to do. Or, I'm, I, you know, I just had this run in with one of my in-laws and it just feels like a lot. Or I just, you know, my husband and I got into whatever it is. What's going on in my life right now? Is food going to solve the problem? Chances are, no, not, not long term, it's not. For about 20 seconds, it will. What can I do instead? How hungry am I? What's going on in my life right now? Is food going to solve the problem? What can I do instead? Bring those four questions with you. Connect in and have a notebook, a little journal with you, and write down the guidance that your body's giving you. And really connect in. How would you be? How would you think? How would you act if you were her? If you were already at your goal weight? Right? I'd love to hear if this spoke to you in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Please let me know. It really makes a difference. Um, and other than that, have an incredible weekend. Use these three tools. They will make a tremendous difference in how you feel, in how you act, in what you eat. Um, and honestly, in your connection with you, which is really what you want, you want to be connected in here, that will lead you to the weight loss that you so desire. 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments below. Please do share or email at hello at melissacatherine.com. I always love hearing and reading your comments. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Have an incredible Memorial Day weekend to learn more about me. Go to melissacatherine.com. Please give this a thumbs up and um, continue to keep me posted on your weight loss journey. I'd love to hear. Have a good one.